Sprays. Sprays are the cornerstone of Overwatch culture and fandom. There is nearly no first-person shooter game without sprays. And in today's video, we'll show you how to create Overwatch spray system in Unity Engine using the Universal Render Pipeline 12 in Unity 2021.2. This is Ramis Altaba from Binary Lunar and let's get started. Let's start by creating new Unity project and make sure you are using Unity 2021.2. To create the spray system, we will use a decal feature in the URP12. You might ask me, this is not a new feature. I'll say yes. It was available in the built-in render pipeline and the HDRP pipelines only, but not in URP. And it's a new feature that it is introduced in URP12. And this feature is only available in Unity 2021.2 to make sure that you downloaded that version. To easily start a first person game, we can download the Unity starter assets and choose the first person character controller. So go to the package manager and download that from Unity Asset Store. I will provide the link to download that pack down in the description. When you import this package, it will ask you to import the new input system, which requires you to restart Unity Engine. Now let's go to Starter Assets folder and click on the first person controller, then open the playground scene. You'll notice that everything looks in pink because we didn't upgrade the materials to URP. Usually we go to edit preferences and upgrade the materials, but in the new URP 12, they changed where it located. They provided a new converter, which is built in. So go to window, rendering, render pipeline converter, and then choose convert from built in to URP. After that, you need to click on materials upgrade and select Initialize Converters, then Convert Assets to upgrade your materials from built-in to URP. And now our scene is perfectly ready to start working on. But first, let's click Play and check this first-person character package. With it, it provides the foundation to start any first-person game. So as you can see, it provides the controller for the first person. You can move around, uh, walk, run, and even jump to test your prototype for your first person game. We can start by expanding the input system by adding the spray ability. As you can see, currently the system only supports running and jumping. So let's create a new bool and name it spray. Then go down and create a new function called on spray, similarly to how they created the on sprint or on jump, just to change the name of the function to on spray and set the jump input value to be pressed. That means when you press the jump or the spray button, we will turn the value of spray buttons to pressed is pressed. Also, we go down and create a new function and name it this time the spray input. It will use the bool that we created, so we name it spray input and we change the bool name to new spray state and change the spray to our new spray state to track the button status. Save the inputs script, then go to the first person controller script and create a new section for the spray. In that section, we will set a new game object to determine which prefab will be instantiated, which will contain the sprite that will be sprayed on the walls or floor. So let's create a new parameter, public game object, because it will hold a prefab and name it spray. Now we need to create a new function 
to do the spray action. So create a new private void spray. Of course, we run that function in the update. So don't forget to call that function on the update to be called each second. But it, it will not be implemented till an if has been set. So we say if the input dot spray is true, that means we pressed the button. Let's see, we should print on the screen as a test that we started spraying. So we should see that in the console. But after the if, we should set the value of the button to false. That we means we stopped uh, clicking the button anymore. So we say input dot spray equal to false. Finally, we should set up the spray button so the system knows if we press this button that means we started the spraying function so let's go to the starter input system and add a new action spray and set that to the keyboard button f to start spraying now let's click play and see what will happen when we click the f button when we click the f button we see in the console that we started spraying that means everything has been set up perfectly to start creating the uh, decal or the sprite that will be sprayed in the environment of the scene so let's create a new game object and name it mercy spray since i will use mercy spray from the overwatch game i downloaded that from the internet and i will provide you the link to download that PNG down in the description. Now add the URP decal projector feature, which only available in URP 12 and Unity 2021.2. You'll see a message that's saying that decal feature is not added to your render pipeline. So go to the project settings, then click on the scriptable render pipeline settings, then go to the render features and click add render feature and select the decal. When you import your sprite, make sure to set the texture type to UI and 2D sprite. Now let's create a new material and name it Mercy Spray. And from the inspector in the shader menu, select Shader Graph, then choose Decal. After that, drag the Mercy Sprite to the base map. And finally, go back to the Mercy Spray Game object, then set the material inside the decal projector to the Mercy material we created, the Mercy Spray material. And now you can move the projector box. When it interacts with any other game object, you can start seeing the decal or the spray projected on the surface. So the angle of this projector affecting how well the sprite is being shown and as you can see now there is edges which are visible to remove those we can adjust in the material the normal blend and set it to zero and now if you want to spray on the wall we need to make sure that the projector is touching the wall and also toward the direction of the wall now to do this using the code, we need to use the ray casting and create a ray from the position of the camera forward till it touches any surface. Now let's convert this game object into prefab to be instantiated using the code. So just to drag it from the scene to the project files and rename it maybe to Mercy Spray Decal. So let's start coding by going back to the player capsule and select the first person controller. So instead of we start spraying, let's create the following code. We need a ray cast hit, which represents the point where the ray from the camera toward the scene is hitting something. So we create a ray cast hit and name it hit. Then we say if the recast, which is physics.raycast we need to set the start position which is the main camera transform.position and we say we want to instantiate the ray 
to the depth of the scene, which means forward, and we store the output in the hit we created. Then we need to set a new float to determine how long is the length of the ray. So let's create public float, spray range, and set that as the final parameter in the raycast. So when the raycast hits something, we instantiate the spray at the hit point location and using the main camera rotation. So let's save the script, go back to the scene and set the spray range to something like 20. If we hit play and move around click F, we start seeing some sprays, but they don't look good. There are some portions not appearing and it feels uh, not sprayed correctly. If we check the instantiated spray, we will see that the surface of the projector is at the edge of the surface, which is not good. We need it to be in the middle of the surface. So however, the face of the surface, we will get uh, a good spray. So let's go back to the prefab of the spray or the projector and make sure we center its location. You can do that simply by dragging the Mercy decal prefab to the scene, then adjust the pivot from Z, Z 0 0.5 to 0. That will center the pivot. Apply changes to the prefab, then delete it from the scene, click play, and now we will get great sprays. If you want to see the recast visually, or maybe for debugging, you can do the following code. After the if statement, you can write debug.drawRay and we set the starting point the same as the Raycast start point, which is the main camera position. And we set also the, the direction, main camera forward, and we multiply that by the spray range. Then we select the color to draw the Raycast in the scene. Save, go back to the scene hit play, and now we can see the raycast in red line. To see the effect or the length of the line, we can control from the inspector the spray range, and we can see how that affects real time the length of the raycast. And finally, we can add a sound effect for the spray. So just bring any MP3 or WAV file for the spray sound effect. Go to the player capsule, add an audio source, and make sure to uncheck play on awake. Then go to the character controller file and add two new parameter, one for the audio source, let's name it audio source, and the other one for the audio clip and name it spray sound effect. Then we get a reference to the audio source on our game object by typing audio source, get component, audio source, which automatically will get that component. Then inside the if statements, when we hit something and spray, then we play the sound clip using audio source dot play one shot the spray sound effects and that's it save and let's go back to the scene drag and drop the sound effect to the inspector in the spray sfx now hit play and when we press f button we will spray and play the spray sound effect and that's it for today's video. If you found this video useful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and the notification bell to keep updated by the knowledge we sharing on this channel. 
We deeply thankful to all supporters on Patreon and by becoming a patron you can download all our projects for free. Till next time, see you soon.